Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us on this Wednesday. I'm Brendan Clark. Good evening, everyone. We are glad you're watching. I'm Carol and Murray. Hundreds of people are expected to lose their jobs because a North Charleston paper mill is closing. It's a big number. News 2 Sophia Radabaugh is joining us live from North Charleston. Sophia, you spoke with the mayor, Keith Summy, about the mill and what it means that it's closing. Yes, and he tells me the city and company are both committed to taking of uh, taking care of these people after losing their jobs as they remember the West Rock paper mill that's been around in the Charleston area for more than 80 years. We're always uh, hate to see businesses go under. Mayor of North Charleston Keith Summy says, especially for businesses like West Rock, that have been around for so long. The location that's been a part of this community before we were even a city. West Rock employed thousands of people over the years making paper products for Durasorb and Craft Pack. The company said in a statement the reason for closing is the combination of high operating costs and the need for significant capital investment. It's changed hands a couple of times in the last seven or eight years. So we knew that the industry was changing. West Rock says they're giving out severance packages to the 500 people losing their jobs and employees will have an opportunity to relocate within the company. But Summy says the city is also stepping in to help. We just want those folks to know that uh, we will be doing everything we can, working with the chamber uh, and working with the county, uh, looking to see what kind of jobs we can find that's in the market for them here locally if they want to stay. Summy says it'll officially close in three to four months, but they want to make sure everyone has another job before then, and it's going to take all hands on deck. It's an opportunity for the local government, especially the county and the city to come together. So uh, we see it as a challenge, and uh, we'll, we'll come up to that challenge. The environmental impact has also been a concern over the years with pollution being emitted into the air from the paper plant. Summy says for the next company that takes over that location, it could be a different story. Whoever comes in there uh, will be met with, I think, more stringent restrictions than were there when the bill, uh, mill was built over 80 years ago. Mayor Summy says that there's no word yet on who could take over that location. Anything is a possibility at this point, but Mayor Summy says he wants to make sure it serves the community. In North Charleston, Sophia Radabaugh, count on two. All right.